Hello and welcome to Build Your Own Robot. This, I'm Stephen DeMarney and today we're going to work on assembling a kit robot where you can build the basic chassis. It's called the Magician Chassis DG007 and here it is in the bag and you can see there's some wheels and there's a couple motors, a battery holder and once we unseal the bag we'll have a closer look. Here we can see the package and it says Magician Chassis DG007 and it shows some of the parts that are inside and the quantities. Now here I've got all the parts for the robot laid out. You can see some plastic parts and the body for the robot, the motors, the wheels, given a screwdriver lots of plastic chassis parts for us to assemble the robot. Oh, and there's a roller there. You can see there's two main plastic parts of the chassis. So this is a good idea to buy a kit because you get everything together instead of having to look for all sorts of parts. So it saves you time and money to put together a, a kit like this. This is an inexpensive um, platform to build a robot with which gives you a motorized drive and uh, a place to mount your logic circuitry for your robot. Now to assemble the robot we're just going to follow the instructions. So we're going to follow step one which says insert motor holder as this drawing shows. So that's what we're going to do. So this is what the chassis looks after step one is completed. We've got four pillars and the outside ones, they don't stay there very easily because there's nothing to hold them. They're waiting for the screws. You see they, they're just loosely fit. They can fall out no problem. But that's where they're supposed to be. Um, but once we get the motors ready, and the screws through them, those will stay in position. So here we have the two motors mounted according to the instructions for steps two and three. Only thing is I didn't mount these speed board holders as they call them, which are uh, toothed wheels to try to indicate speed, but their fit was too loose so they would just fall off anyways on the center of the board there so I just left them off and I'm not really going to use those for recording speed. Now step four is to assemble the wheels so that's fairly easy you just have to line up the slot of the wheels and push them on the motors and we'll also complete step five to assemble the omni wheel. We have to put on some spacers and screws to hold that on. So now I'll do that and let you see the result. Okay, so now you can see I've got the, the back roller wheel installed and the two wheels were pressed onto the shafts. So that completes steps four and five. So next we're going to do steps six and that's assemble the battery holder. And then step seven is to put a bunch of spacers on the same level. So we're working on the top of this chassis. So I'm going to flip it over. Flip it over. So we're going to do our work here to install the battery holder and those spacers. Well, now our spacers are in place on the chassis as well as the battery holder. Everything is tight, make sure you tighten all the screws and you may need a pair of pliers. I forgot to mention at the start I'm using needle nose pliers to hold the other end when you're tightening the screw. The next step in our assembly is to put the top of the chassis on with screws from up above. Well, according to the instructions we are done, but I still need to add some more circuitry. So I'm going to have some interface electronics and the microcontroller that I'm going to add. Now 
here is the finished robot with the OSEP UNO R3 Plus Arduino compatible board and the uh, interface board for interfacing between the microcontroller and the motors and we also have the sharp distance sensor which are working as the eyes which you can see down here that I've mounted right here so now this is the completed robot with enough hardware to be able to program so that's my next step is to program a robot so that the brain can think it has a brain right now but the brain needs to think